Hey monkeys, it's Jim from Small Time Outlaws bringing you the 12th video in this advanced programming in monkey tutorial series. In this video we're going to be learning about how to use external declarations to inject the target's native code into our monkey programs. Okay, and let's start creating a new file. Now external declarations are typically used to add features to monkey that aren't otherwise available in the language and they generally generally require that you have some basic knowledge of the language you're writing this native code in so you better make sure if you want to start making these external declarations you need to start learning up on the basics of each of the languages that monkey translates into and for this video we're going to be using the HTML5 target so our monkey code will be translated into JavaScript and which means I'm going to be creating some code in JavaScript that I will import into our monkey project and declare it there for use inside our monkey file. So pretty cool, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this main file in some folder and I'm going to call it tutorial 12 and I'll create a new file and monk isn't really set up to edit JavaScript files, but I'm just going to do it anyway because it's simple code. And so I'm going to save this as and I'm going to create a folder just to keep it separate. This is what I usually do when I'm creating these native code files. So I'll put them in a native folder just to keep them separate from the rest of the monkey code. And I'm going to call this external and then the extension for JavaScript is JS so now you can see monks like whoa what is this file okay so now first thing I'm going to do I'm just going to show you how we can inject a global variable into our code so I'm just going to create a regular variable in JavaScript and it's it's outside all the rest of the scope so it's, it's basically global it's not inside any functions or classes or anything and then in our monkey file, first thing we'll do is we'll import, just like with modules, and we're going to use the quotations. And then you're going to specify just the actual path to the whatever external file you want to import. And in this case, it's called external.js. And now that we've done that, we have to actually declare this global in monkey so that it can be used. So basically, basically be linking a monkey global to a JavaScript global. And the way to do that is to make these external declarations is to use the extern keyword. And this is kind of like the public and private. It just everything after the extern is considered an external declaration. And so the ways the way these external declarations work for for very for globals or constants, it's just you just declare a, vo uh, declare a variable like any other variable. So we're going to call it my global, and it's going to be an int because I set it up to store one, two, three, and int. And notice the name here is the same as the name here, and that's important. And now to start doing our regular code, our main function, you change the change it back to public. So everything after the public is going to be the pu in the public domain or the public scope, and we're going to create our function. And just so you can see that it worked, I can print my global and we're going to run this. And there you can see the value we initialized in JavaScript has translated through to monkey. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a function. And let's say we wanted to add some JavaScript functionality to our program, so what we're going to do Let's create a function that will prompt the user to enter some text using the JavaScript prompt function. And we're going to pass in the text to display in our prompt. And then this, okay, and then we'll return the text that the user enters. So using this prompt, this prompt comes with JavaScript. And then the text is like a question or whatever it asks. asks and the second parameter is the default text in the prompt box which we don't need to worry about and one thing when you're making these 
external files is you want to make sure you have some spacing above and below all your code because when it gets injected into your monkey code once it translates if you don't have any space below here it's going to start the rest of the monkey code right here and you'll run into syntax errors so you'll just make sure you have some space there and there and now let's say I don't like this do prompt function name on it the name to be something else so inside our external scope our extern I'm going to create a function and in this I want it to be called input dialog because that's really what's going to pop up is an input dialog box and this function is going to return whatever the user enters and it's going to take whatever text we send to it and now because this name is different from this name we need to tell monkey okay I want it to link it to a specific function or a specific declaration in this file so after you've declared your function for monkey you're going to use the equals and then in quotations you're going to want to tell it the name of the function or declaration you want to link to in the external file so in this case it's just do prompt so basically whenever the translator sees input dialog it's going to change it to do prompt and then put it all together so now we can go down here and we can print and then we will input dialog and we'll ask it a question like who are you and so what this should do is pop up a little javascript input dialog and then print it in our console after we're done typing it so it asks who are you and I say I am Jim and it says oh look I said Jim cool right now finally I'm going to show you how to inject a class from an external file and for this you can just set up a class just like you would any other class and in this case I'm just going to call mine my class and in my external file it's actually going to be called test class and then inside there you just set up your whatever fields are in it and so I'm going to have test field and then I'm going to have two methods and neither of these methods are going to return anything so I have method one and method method two and notice it's all it's all create like creating abstract methods or abstract functions if you remember from before so you just do the method and then its name and then whatever it returns or what parameters it takes and just so we can I'm going to have my other method is going to be called other method so it looks like a regular class declaration it just doesn't have any of the code for the class because all that code is going to be in our external file so now I'm going to create the class in JavaScript and because creating classes in JavaScript is kind of a mess it's actually a lot easier to do this in other languages like Java or C Sharp or C++ because they're actually object oriented but JavaScript is not and so creating classes or objects is kind of a pain so I'm just going to pause it real fast and put it in this code okay and as you can see it looks like utter garbage so I bet you're glad I didn't walk you through that okay and now I'm gonna get rid of this input dialog so we don't want it popping up every time and oh, so you can see inside my method one I've just said it just says print method one inside my other method method it prints other method okay and now we'll just create a new instance of our class and this I call it my class is a new my class and then we'll call method one and method two run it and there you go method one and other methods this is all JavaScript code and that's it for external declarations really that's not too bad right it's just it's really the hardest part is coding in all the different languages that monkey supports to get it working for every target but once you get the hang of it it's not so bad and okay and I think thanks for watching hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video don't forget you can send leave me questions in the comments or email me at jim at smalltimeoutlaws.com alright see ya